You are listening to Mystery Media Group. Yay! I'm here to tell you a story that will make your hair stand on end. Grab your favorite blanket and cuddle up because you're listening to Jill's Chills. This is the story of the Winchester House. The Winchester Mystery House is an architectural wonder and historic landmark in San Jose, California, that was once the personal residence of Sarah Lockwood Pardee Winchester, the widow of William Wirt Winchester and heiress to a large portion of the Winchester repeating arms fortune. Tragedy befell Sarah. Her infant daughter died of a childhood illness and a few years later, her husband was taken from her by tuberculosis. Shortly after her husband's death, Sarah left their home in New Haven, Connecticut and moved out west to San Jose, California. There, she bought an eight-room farmhouse and began what could only be described as the world's longest home renovation, stopping only when Sarah passed on September 5, 1922. From 1886 to 1922, construction seemingly never ceased as the original eight-room farmhouse grew into the world's most unusual and sprawling mansion, featuring 24,000 square feet, 10,000 windows, 2,000 doors, 160 rooms, 52 skylights, 47 stairways and fireplaces, 17 chimneys, 13 bathrooms, 6 kitchens, built at a price tag of the $5 million in 1923 or $71 million today. Sarah Lockwood Winchester was an American heiress who amassed great wealth after the death of her husband and her mother-in-law, Jane Ellen Hope. Her inheritance included $20 million, which would be $529.9 million in 2019 as well as a 50% holding in the Winchester Company, which made her one of the wealthiest women in the world at the time. Sarah Winchester is best known for using her vast fortune to continue construction on the Winchester Mansion in San Jose, California for 38 years. Popular legends, which began during her lifetime, held that she was convinced she was cursed by the spirits of those killed by the Winchester rifle, and the only way to protect herself was to continually add on to her California home. Since her death, the sprawling Winchester Mystery House has become a popular tourist attraction known for its staircases that lead to nowhere, along with its many winding corridors and doors that lead to walls or sudden drops. She was born the daughter of Leonard Pardee and his wife Sarah W. in the summer of 1839 in New Haven, Connecticut. On September 30, 1862 in New Haven, Sarah married William Wirt Winchester, the only son of Oliver Winchester. Sarah and William had one daughter, Annie Pardee Winchester, who was born on June 15, 1886, and died on July 25, 1886, of Merimasmus. Sarah and William had one daughter, Annie Pardee Winchester, who was born on June 15, 1866, and died on July 25, 1866, of Merasmus. In the span of one year, she lost her mother, her father-in-law, and finally her husband, William, who died of tuberculosis. The Winchester Company was the most popular production company of firearms in the 19th century and provided their equipment to nearly every major battle or war at the time. Sarah Winchester was told by a Boston medium that she had to build the Santa Clara Valley home to appease those who died because of the firearms she and her family profited on. She supposedly felt a deep sense of regret and guilt for the innocent lives that were taken as a result of their firearms, despite not being the person to enact any of the killings. Regardless, she built the Winchester Mystery House for the restless spirits. The haunting of the mansion is explained by the ornate nature of its architecture. Sarah built doors that led to nowhere, staircases that abruptly ended, windows built on the inside of the house, and detailed design elements that created a bizarre feeling within the home. It does not have any actual blueprints. The confusing nature of the house's construction led outsiders to believe in the house's haunting. It is such a deeply unsettling place that it is assumed to be haunted. There is little to no proof that it actually is, but that does not discredit Sarah's experiences within the home that no one else but her can attest to. Folklore states that Sarah sought out a spiritualist who could commune with the dead. While she was presumably looking for solace or closure, she was instead given a chilling warning. 
Through the medium, William told his widow that their tragedies were a result of the blood money the family had made off of the Winchester rifles. He warned that vengeful ghosts would seek her out. In order to protect herself, William said that Sarah must build a home for herself and for the spirits who have fallen from this terrible weapon. Sarah was advised to leave their home in New Haven, Connecticut behind and move out west where she was to build a grand home for the spirits. There was just one catch, construction on the house could never stop. If you continue building, you will live, the medium warned Sarah. Stop and you will die. Some say the labyrinth layout was meant to confuse the ghosts, allowing Sarah some peace and a means to escape them. She was the sole architect of this extraordinary home and no master building plan has ever been uncovered. So Sarah may be the only person who ever really knew all of its secrets. One mover told American Weekly the Winchester house was a place where downstairs leads neither to the cellar nor upstairs to the roof. Every morning, Sarah met with the foreman to discuss the always evolving building plans, and it said that each night she visited the seance room to speak with the spirits who weighed in on plans for the house's unusual design. She employed a crew of carpenters who split shifts so construction could go on day and night, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, for 38 years. The work only stopped on September 5th, 1922, because a mastermind behind the home died of a heart failure in her sleep. It's said that upon hearing the news of Sarah's death, the carpenters quit so abruptly they left unhammered nails protruding from the walls. Today, all are welcome to explore the Winchester Mystery Home on a guided tour of the supernatural location. It's easy to get lost in the mansion, but it is open to the public regardless. The home is such an immaculate piece of architectural history that upholds an even darker past filled with death, despair, grief, and tragedy. Sarah Winchester did not just build a mysterious mansion, she created one of the most significant symbols of the paranormal and the powers it can supposedly hold over individuals. While it's not in the same shape it was nearly 100 years ago, the remnants of the past bleed through and evoke a sense of what the mansion once looked like. If you have more stories that are creepy, you can reach me at Jill's Chills Podcast on Instagram. This is a production of Mystery Media Group. Yay!